Hello everyone. Today I have a very special reader who will be reading one of her favorite books. They can hear you. Hello, my name is Noelle and I will be reading to you The Bad Seed. I hope you like it as much as I do. The Bad Seed. Written by Jory John, illustrations by Pete Oswald. Read with permission from Scholastic Publishing. The Bad Seed. Can you find the bad seed on this page? The Bad Seed. I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and say, that seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble, there goes a bad seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell junk I tell long jokes with no punchlines. I never wash my hands or my feet. I lie about pointless stuff. I cut in line every time. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentences and I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I am a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun. We were close. But then the petals dropped, and our flower drooped. It's kind of a blur. Fresh sunflower seeds, delicious. I remember a bag. Everything went dark, and then, then, a giant! I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered. Ah! But I was spit out at the last possible second. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a, with a huge thud. When I woke up, I, it, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had softened but something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. A bad seed. That's right, I stopped smiling. I stopped. I kept to myself. I drifted. I was a friend to nobody. I was bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can. I didn't care, and it suited me. Until recently, I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad, but I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen, and I still show up late, and I still talk during movies, and I do all kinds of other bad stuff. But I also say, say thank you, and I say please, and I smile, and I hold doors open for other people. Not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad, sometimes I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking. Maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, he's not all that bad anymore. 
I heard that. Can you find the bad seed on this page too? I can. He's right there and he's smiling. On the first page, he's right here and he's frowning. I hope you enjoyed the bad seed as much as I enjoyed reading it to you. Have a good night. Bye.